Hi all, welcome to Math EC. In today's video, we will be discussing about adding fractions with unlike denominators. There are basically two ways of doing it. One is by using the LCM method, least common multiple method and the other one is by using the butterfly method. Now let us first see what is the LCM method that is least common multiple method. Consider this example. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 16. Now let us solve this fraction using the least common multiple method, LCM method. So to do this, our first aim is to make the denominators same. You know, this is the numerator, the upper part is the numerator, the down part, it is the denominator. So our first aim is to make the denominator same. That means the denominator should have the same number. For that, step 1 is we have to find the LCM of 4 and 16. For that, let us first write the multiples of 16. Multiples of 16 are 16 times 1, 16. Let us stop there. Now let us write the multiples of 4. 1 times 4, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8, 3 is 12, 16. Where we have to stop? We have to stop when we see the first common number in 16 and 4. We have to stop if you find the first common number in both these numbers 16 and 4. So what is the common number here? 16. That is the first step. So what is the LCM? LCM of this is going to be equal to 16. That is the first common, least common multiple. That is the first number that is matching. If you want more details about the least common multiple LCM, I have already uploaded a video and have provided link in the below description please check it out so the first step is finding the LCM what is the second step second step is to rearrange this numerator and denominator which means what see in the numerator we have 4 here so our aim is to make the denominator same we found our LCM as 16 that is the common multiple so how will you make this 4 as 16 you know 4 times 4 is 16 that is the LCM right so 4 times 4 and when you multiply a denominator by a number you have to multiply the numerator also with the same number I repeat when you multiply Apply denominator with a number you have to multiply the numerator with the same number so here I am multiplying the denominator by 4 so you have to multiply the numerator also by 4 times 4 okay now plus in the second number already you have 16 so you don't have to multiply anything you can just write it as such since we did not multiply anything in the denominator you can simply put the numerator just as it as it is you don't have to multiply anything now what is this this is equal to what is 3 times 4 12 by 4 times 4 16 plus 1 by 16 that is equal to so first step we found the LCM second step we rearranged this numerator and denominator and now the third step is adding the numerators that is since the denominators are same now you can just simply write as 12 plus 1 Commonly, the denominator is 16. Once the denominator becomes same, you can simply add the numerators and put the denominator with the same number by 16. So, that is the third step. What is 12 plus 1? That is 13 by 16. That is going to be the answer. 13 by 16. 16. You cannot simplify this 13 by 16 and so you can just put it as such. Now let us see the second example. 2 by 5 plus 1 by 10. So as I told you what is the first step? 
First step is to find the LCM of the denominator. So we need the LCM of 5 and 10. For that, let us first list the multiples of 10. As I told you, it will be easy for you if you list the multiples of the bigger numbers first. So what is the, what are the multiples? So 10 times 1, 10. 10 times 2, say 20. Now let us list the multiples of 5. 1 times 5, 5, 2 times 5, 10. Already you found one common number. So when once you find the first common number, you can stop there. So the LCM of 5 and 10 uh, is going to be equal to 10. That is the step 1. What is the step 2? Rearranging the numerators and denominators so that you will have a common denominator. So uh, let us put this 5. What is the LCM? It is 10. So how will you make this 5 10? 5 times 2 is 10. So as I told you, once you multiply the denominator by a number, you have to multiply the numerator with the same number. So I am multiplying here 5 times 2. So you have to multiply this 2 times 2 plus here the LCM number is 10. Here the denominator is already 10. So you don't have to multiply anything. You can simply put it as such. That is equal to what is 2 times 2? 4. 4 by 10 plus 1 by 10. That is equal to. So what you did? You just multiplied and now you can see the denominators are the same. What is the next step? Just adding the numerators. Once uh, you found the common denominators, you can simply add the numerators divided by 10. 4 plus 1 by 10. That is equal to 5 by 10. 5 by 10. But here now you can see, you can simplify 5 by 10. How? Because you know 5 divided, both are divisible by 5. So 5 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 because both are divisible by 5. That is equal to, what is 5 divided by 5? 1. What is 10 divided by 5? It is 2. So, once you simplify, you will get the answer as 1 by 2. Now, consider the next example. 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Let us see this. So, as I told you, first we need to find the LCM. Let us list the common multiples of both. The big number is 5. So, let me list the multiples of 5. 1 times 5, 5. 2 fives are 10. 3 fives are 15. 4 fives are 20. Now, let me list the multiples of 3. 1 times 3, 3. 2 threes are 6. 3 threes are 9. 4 threes are 12. 5 threes are 15. Yeah, the first common number I got as 15. So, the LCM of uh, 5 and 3, it's going to be equal to 15. So, what is the LCM? LCM is equal to 15. Now, step 2. Let us rearrange the numerator and the denominator. Okay, now let us see 3. You know 15 is the LCM. So the denominator we should make it as 15. How? 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So once you multiply the denominator by a number, you have to multiply the numerator by the same number. And plus 1 by 5. Now how can I make this 5 as 15? 5 times 3. And the numerator is 1. So 1 times 3. Okay, now let us re uh, multiply all this. What is 2 times 5? 10 by 3 times 5? 15 plus 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So we rearranged everything. That is equal to once the denominators become same, you can simply write it once and add the numerators. 10 plus 3. What is in the numerator? 10 and a 3 and the sign in between is plus. So, I am just putting 10 plus 3 by 15. That is equal to 13 by 15. And can you simplify 13 by 15? No. So, just write it as such. 13 by 15. That's all is about the LCM method. Now, we will see how to solve this fraction using the butterfly method. Consider this example. 
वन बाई टू प्लस वन बाई फोर नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द मल्टीपल एंड स्टफ वी हैव अनदर मेथड कॉल बटरफ्लाई मेथड वेर इन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर ऑफ द फर्स्ट नंबर एंड द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ द फर्स्ट नंबर वन टाइम्स फोर ओके वन टाइम्स फोर दैट इज द न्यूमरेटर ऑफ द फर्स्ट नंबर विद द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ द सेकेंड नंबर and you will put the sign as such plus numerator of the second number and denominator of the first number just circle like this this way and then this way so 1 times 2 1 times 2 again i will tell you first you will take this first number just circle like this so the numerator of first number times denominator of second number plus numerator of second number denominator times denominator of second number by simply multiply these two 2 times 4 that is equal to what is 1 times 4 4 plus 1 times 2 2 by 2 times 4 8 that is equal to what is 4 plus 2 6 by 8 Okay, now you can simplify six by eight because both are divisible by two. So I am just putting divided by two for simplifying it. Six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. So the final answer will be three by four. Simply you put a circle like this, a circle like this. So inside that one times four plus. One times two by the multiply the numbers in the denominator. That's it. So you will get the final answer. Now consider another example. Two by eleven plus one by two. Let us do this using the butterfly method. As I told you, the numerator of the first and denominator of the second. Numerator of the second and denominator of the first, and then simply multiply these two. So two times two plus one times eleven. That's it. Just interchanging. Divided by what is eleven times two? That is then the denominator. So two times two is four. Plus one times eleven is eleven by eleven times two is twenty two. So what is four plus eleven? Fifteen by twenty two. That is the answer. We cannot simplify it. Both are not divisible by anything. So that you have to write it as such. Hope you have understood about adding fractions with unlike denominators using two different methods, LCM method and the butterfly method. If you have any further questions or require any clarification, please put it in the comment section. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to Math Easy channel and push the like button. Thanks for watching.